Welcome to the September What's New for Autodesk Fusion 360 Manufacturing. This release sees many new features and enhancements to help with productivity, along with additions to pre-release options as well. Let's get started with looking at the features and enhancements that you can expect to see in this release. The tool library has been enhanced with the new feature allowing for libraries to be toggled off and on using the context menu. By turning off unneeded libraries, less data is loaded, increasing its performance. Once switched off, this setting will stay set and the library will not be available until needed at which time you may toggle it back on to be used. Greater probing efficiency can now be had with the ability to assign feed rates to different types of movements. Previously, a single value could be input into the feeds and speeds section of the toolpath or the cutting data of the probe in the tool database. This has been expanded allowing you to assign individual feed rates for the link, lead in, and measurement movements giving you greater ability to optimize your probing sequences for shorter overall cycle times. When using inventor and step CAD models containing product manufacturing information, hole and boss information can now be uploaded with the model as well. Data contained in this information, for example hole tolerances, can then be used in inspection workflows. Filaments for FFF 3D printing that contain metal particles, which can then be post-processed to create a denser part, require different parameters for successful printing. Settings for bronze and copper filaments from Virtual Foundry have now been added to the print settings library. When editing print settings, finding parameters can be a tedious process with endless searching. The print settings editor now contains a search field. Start typing in your desired setting and possible options are shown. After you've selected your setting to edit, the correct field is automatically highlighted to allow for quick identification. Converting volumetric lattices to mesh bodies in order to additively manufacture them not only breaks history-based modeling, but can be a time-consuming process. It is now possible to directly add your part into an additive manufacturing setup without creating a mesh as before. This prevents data loss, errors, and improves your overall performance in projects. Supports are needed in most additive builds to be successful, but are time-consuming and can be wasteful. The additive build extension now includes a new bar support shape to aid in this. Single hatch tube supports Create the support with a single laser pass, creating a hollow structure, which decreases the build time, wastes less material, and reduces the energy needed to create them, while still supporting the part for a successful build. Two new add-ins have been added to the App Store to increase productivity when using Haas and Mazak machine tools. The Haas driver add-in automatically finds all Haas milling machines with an NGC controller and enables users to quickly build a Fusion 360 machine library with the machines to match your shop. This add-in connects directly to the machine and automatically checks the machine configuration and settings, helping to reduce costly mistakes where running the wrong NC code can result in wasted time and material or even crashes. There is also no need to maintain a library of post-processors or find the right machine folder to send the NC code. Just add the machine you want to use to your Fusion 360 setup and send NC code directly to the machine using the Haas driver. The Mazak Connect add-in enables your CAM programmer to export Fusion 360 project files directly to Mazak's Smooth Project Manager, which synchronizes and manages all the data required to execute machining programs, including tool data, fixtures, system coordinates, parameters, and 3D models. By sending this information to the manager, the machine operator has greater accuracy when simulating cut files directly at the machine to check for errors. The add-in also establishes a direct connection to any Mazak machine allowing the user to see the availability status, whether it be running, idle, or offline. Using the Mazak Connect add-in, your CAM programmer and machine operator can work in unison to verify cutting files and optimize production, while saving time and reducing costly mistakes. There are new pre-release features available in this release as well. A quick reminder here that these features need to be turned on in your preferences to allow you to test their functionality. Feedback on them is always welcome in the Fusion forums. Machine tool simulation has seen improvements with the redesign of the dialog form, streamlining the process when describing a machine tool in its motion. This paves the way for further functionality, the first being included in this release as well with the ability to describe machines with more than five axes of motion. Steep and shallow has gotten even better with the addition of the option to optimize open pockets and shallow regions when using a scallop toolpath type. Some part features may contain shallow areas where the tool is able to enter from the outside and may benefit from doing so. In these cases, the new Optimize Open Pocket option can generate a scallop toolpath for shallow regions with a shape that is influenced by the surrounding steep region, while also aiming to enter and exit the material from the outside in. 
This new option produces a toolpath with open passes that tend to have fewer changes in direction, reducing the likelihood of dwell marks to being left on the part, helping improve surface finish. This new option can also reduce full width cuts, meaning better tool life. In the July release, the ability to measure between two holes was added to manual measurement. In this release, it has been further enhanced to add maximum and minimum measurements. This allows you to easily measure the inside or outside distance between two holes and have the center measurement automatically calculated, increasing the flexibility of its use. Calculating the build cost of an FFF print is simplified with a new estimator located in print statistics. By inputting your kilowatt per hour and filament costs, print build energy consumption and manufacturing costs are calculated allowing you to make informed decisions. Additive simulation calculates the outcome of a metal additive build, identifying potential issues of part warpage. This warped model can now be exported to validate simulation results and use to potential downstream secondary machining operations. Thanks for watching this update, and don't forget to check out the blog post to learn about what else is new in Autodesk Fusion 360.